What's going on you beautiful people and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for the final stage of the 2020 Santos Tour Down Under. We reach this, uh, the, the first tour of the season to a close. McLaren Vale, Willinger Hill, 151 kilometers of hell for the sprinters. But this is where this tour is uh, going to be decided. The gaps are extremely small between the um, leaders of this tour. If you haven't seen the previous five stages, I highly recommend you to do so. Uh, and without further ado, let's jump in for the final time in Australia. Are you ready, boys? Well, I better hope the peloton just answered aye aye, captain, because we're in for a treat today. 150 kilometers in this final stage of the Down Under. Um, Jay McCarthy has a plus two, and that's huge. That's huge. That would that puts him at 73-77, respectively, in mountain and hills. Um, we are not going to wait to waste any more time, and uh, we're going to send Patrick Schelling. Nope, not Patrick. Either Schelling in the breakaway. I mean, there is a jersey to retain here. We're being followed by Pavel Sivakov. That's not good. By Ruch, that's better. Uh, Luke Durbridge, uh, that's decent. Nope, I don't want to attack with Fastman and Jay McCarthy. That is not my plan. And we have been co-op. I'm going to guess the Peloton wasn't a big fan maybe of having Pavel Sivakov in the break, despite him being over three minutes behind. We're going to try and attack once again with um, Ida Schelling. The only issue is that I have no stamina whatsoever. Okay, right. let's uh, come back in the peloton. Let's recover. Let's regather some of our energy. And we will move once again, as Agbashka is already at the front of the peloton. Uh, not seeing any attacks. How many points is that? There is 16 points. There are, sorry, 16 points to be taken at the first Willinger Hill. So that means today... There's 32 points available. What does that mean in the mountain classification? I mean that everyone can still win the mountain classification. But I just need a good performance today from Ida. And uh, I will be uh, clear to win this jersey. Okay. If I if I take like... Right. Let's, let, let's be honest. Let's pose this for a second. Who in this classification... Could win today's stage. Simon Yates, Romain Bardet, Ben Hermans, and that's about it. Jay McCarthy, why not? But let's say Romain Bardet wins. He would, uh, he could overtake me. Simon Yates could overtake me. They're the only two riders that could overtake me if they win the final stage. I mean, obviously, Von Kersbulk could, and Battistella could, and Nielsen Paulus. But I don't expect them to win today. So I just need to get some points in the first Willing Hill, where I could genuinely fight. And maybe, maybe we'll be in to get a first distinctive jersey uh, of this season. And it looks like the breakaway will be viable to go. The Peloton is going to let us go. We'll take a look at who uh, composes said breakaway. We've got Francisco Ventoso for CCC, Michael Stara for Sunweb, Herman Pensteiner for Bahrain Merida, Kylian Franchini for FDG, uh, Scott Jenner for Bridge Lane, Daniel Ovis for NTT, Lachlan Morton for EF, uh, and Pavel Sivakov for Ineos. We're being followed by a, a two man attack with Dylan Van Baal and Yukia Arashiro, but the Peloton doesn't uh, see said counter attack. Um, I mean, they just don't like it, so they're trying to chase it down. Hopefully, they'll be able to chase it down without uh, catching us. That'll be absolutely ideal. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite scared of having uh, of the idea of fighting Pavel Sivakov, Panchtana, Frankini, uh, and Michael Stara in a climb with Ida Schelling. But we'll have to do what we have to do. Alright, we're approaching the uh, first climb of this uh, Willinger Hill. And um, it's fair to say that the cooperation in the breakaway hasn't been. What I expected, uh, I expected it to be, well, much better, and it isn't. So that's not going to be fun, because we start the Willinger Hill with a 50 second lead over a peloton who's chasing us, and everyone in the breakaway is already attacking. So yeah, good luck on that.
Okay, two kilometers until the summit of the of the uh, Willinger Hill. The peloton is chasing us down very quickly, and he might very and he very well might catch us. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that Cesare Benedetti and Jay McCarthy have, I mean, don't get dropped. Uh, that is one of my main issues here. Yeah? We've got Pavel Sivakov and Michael Stara in the lead. Following them, we've got Scott Jenner. Then Ida Schilling um, is still here. Larry Warbus and Daryl Limpi are leading the peloton. Cesare Benedetti and Jay McCarthy are slightly behind. Uh, actually, they're much more behind than I would have liked. And we're going to try and fight for the points here. We're not going to get any. And that is not good. That is not good. That means if I want to win the mountain classification, Simon Yates has to finish third or worse. Also, Jim McCarthy has been dropped. I felt like that was an important information. All right. It's all good. Uh, everyone's back in the main group with less than eight kilometers until the start of the Willinger Hill for the second and final time today. 90 riders in the main peloton. Peloton being paced by the Lotto Yombo of, um, uh, of George Bennett and the Aja Désert of Romain Bardet. I don't know if Romain is still uh, within reach to get the win. No, he isn't. He's 230 down. Uh, George Bennett, though, can easily uh, have his chance to win. Okay. I just don't want Simon Yates to win. That would be the worst thing, because not only would he win the GC, he would most likely... I mean, no, if he wins the stage or finishes second, he overtakes either Schelling in the mountain classification. And that's something I really want to avoid. So we're going to have to do... Uh, we're going to have to do bits today. We're going to have to do bits. Five kilometers to go. Uh, should I take the uh, the help of Ida Schelling? You know what? I'll, I'll never... There's never enough help. We'll have Patrick uh, Ida Schelling lead uh, Benedetti and Jim McCarthy in the first few slopes of the Willinger Hill for the final time today. We are leading the peloton alongside Ben Gashtawa. Simon Yates is already in second position uh, in this peloton. This man is way, way too rapid for, uh, for May. And there goes the climb. Kenya Lissand leads Richie Port. Chris Hamilton, uh, sorry, Lucas Hamilton is going to lead Simon Yates. Anton Toluk leads Sam Bennett, uh, George Bennett. Bardet is led by George Bennett as well. And Jay McCarthy is led by Cesare Benedetti. All right, 1.6 kilometers until the line. Uh, where is Caleb Ewan? That is an information I'd like to know. Uh, so I've either missed him. Okay, I'm going to guess I've missed him. Let's take a second look. Where is Caleb Ewan? That's Jasper Philipson. Oh, there he is. There is. So Caleb Ewan is very, very low in the peloton. Not sure if he's going to be able to do anything today. Chris Hamilton's, sorry, Lucas Hamilton's job appears to be finished for Simon Yates. Cesare Benedetti, though, hasn't finished his work for Jay McCarthy, who can start his effort now. Jay McCarthy through the peloton. Can we do something today? No. Can we avoid Simon Yates from winning? No. And it's a win for Simon Yates, uh, ahead of Diego Lisi and Richie Port. Wait, that's not good, is it? Because Diego Lisi was just... Diego Lisi is going to overtake me. So it's going to be Simon Yates ahead of Lisi, ahead of myself in the GC. That really isn't what I wanted. Shit, I've, I've lost four things. There we go, I just wanted the GC back. 14 seconds, yeah, I think I'm going to lose uh, on Simon Yates and Diego Lisi today. We were going 6th position with Jay McCarthy and 12th with Cesare Benedetti. It's not a good day. We have lost everything. Final podiums on this down under. Simon Yates bags a second win on this tour ahead of early C. Richie Port, who does not win the Willinger Hill for once. George Bennett, Romain Bardet, Dries, uh, sorry, Jay McCarthy, Dries de Venance, Pavel Sivakov, Luis Sanchez and Edouard Prades complete today's top 10. A nice performance from Sivakov, who was in the breakaway to, try and, uh, to, to climb to 8th position today. And as expected, Simon Yates wins the Tour Down Under ahead of Diego Lisi, Jay McCarthy, Ben Hermans, and Luis Sanchez. Cesar Benedetti uh, climbs to 9th position. Caleb Ewan finishes in 10th place, so he manages to get a top 10 in uh, the GC of his national tour. Probably not what he was uh, looking for, although he did get two wins. No, one win. 
Simon Yates win the mountain classification ahead of Ida Schelling and Gun Van Kersbulk. Um, and I'm pissed because I really wanted that, that jersey with Ida. I really wanted it. Um, so that's another L for us. Another L. Actually, no, that's a huge dub. <laughs> that's a huge dub. Jay McCarthy for one point. For one point, sorry. Wins the points classification of the Zamlander ahead of Caleb Ewan. So it's a huge L for Caleb Ewan, actually. Wow. Well, out of all the jerseys, the points one isn't the one I thought I'd bring today. Okay. Matt Pedersen wins the white class the, the white classification, no. The best strong rider classification ahead of Jasper Philipson in the same second as well. Yo, them two never left each other. It was either Pedersen or Philipson, young rider. They've always been in the same time. So that's really impressive. Uh, and Lotto Sudal on the final day snatches the best classifi the team classification to Boransgrohe for 33 seconds. Uh, all right, quick, quick. Um, wait, no, I was about to say a word that doesn't exist. Um, well, we've been shit. Uh, that's what I wanted to say in it. Alright, now that I think about it, shit isn't the word I was going to use. We haven't been that that bad, if I'm honest. It could have been much worse. The team I, we we managed to bring, well, the team that Bora brought on this down under is truly abysmal. Now that's something I can say for sure. And my, my aim was a top 5. I bring them third place. We've got a stage win. We bring them the points classification. I can't really complain. It hasn't been my worst performance, uh, and it's good to come back on the tour with some difficulty. So yeah, um, we'll take a look at the GCs, or the, or the classification, sorry, but as you can see, Samin Yates uh, winning this down under ahead of Ulysses and Jay McCarthy, so the, t the down under stays under the Mitchelton Scott um, banner, I guess. Cesare Bennett, he brings him ninth position, um, Schwarzman 25th. I think he lost quite quite uh, some time today, and that being the reason of why I lost the team classification. Points-wise, uh, for one point, we win, and that's huge. That was really unexpected, but we win ahead of Caleb Ewan. M the mountain classification is won by Simon Yates, as expected. Um, disappointed, but not surprised. Best young rider, Matt Pedersen and Jasper Philipsen. Where did, they, where did uh, the both of them finish today? Uh, nope, I'm, I'm panicking currently. There we go. Matt Pedersen finished in 20th position. Jasper Philipsen in 33rd. So the gaps must have been extremely close because yesterday Jasper Philipsen had overtaken Matt Pedersen in this classification. So the gaps must be, uh, like, we're talking about less than 12 positions over an entire tour. So that's that's huge for uh, for Matt Pedersen, who wins, uh, I think, his first ever distinctive jersey on the World Tour. I mean, obviously, I don't, I don't count the uh, world champion as one. And the best team was won by um, by Lotto Sudal. But right, uh, that's the end of the uh, Santos Tour Dananda, the end of uh, well, this week in Australia, and mainly uh, that means the end of the first race of the season, but the start of the season nonetheless. And that's that's just great. Uh, next up, we'll have the Caleb Evans. Great Ocean Road Race. Uh, we'll then move forward to the UA Tour. Then Strade Bianche. The best uh, best Italian accent I could have done. Paris-Nice, Tirreno Adriatico. Milano San Remo. Volta Ciclista Catalunya. All the classics I hate in Belgium. Paris Vasco. The classic I hate in Northern France. The Ardennes. The Giro. The Tour de France. The Vuelta. It's all going to be extremely quick. And... I hope that you will be there to watch uh, my content as we move, uh, as we progress through the year. To make sure to do so, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video, that would massively help me out. Uh, if you enjoyed the tour as a whole as well, that's another criteria as to why you could like the video. If you didn't like the video, put a dislike on it and tell me why. Uh, um, please tell me why in the comments down below. I'm always um, always answering and uh, I'll take any criticism. Anything to make my videos uh, better, you can tell me. And uh, yeah, I shall see you in the very near future for most likely... Wait, I, I don't know when the Down Under finishes. I don't know which date because I've recorded the Down Under in one day and we're still the 15th of January. So I think 
the down under starts on the 20th, I believe. So it'll end on the 26th. So K11's Ocean Road Race will be on the what, 2nd of February, or maybe a bit before. Well, I don't know if the next video on PCM might either be the K11's Ocean Road Race or my career mode. I do not know. Um, but yeah, expect PCM content rather soon. I've been Black Ore. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today and across this entire week. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. But the mother man need feeding. I don't wanna go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in the drip and sip blockbuster.